Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. So, today's topic is something that you guys might enjoy. The video's name is How to Manifest Commitment. I put up a question answer box on my Instagram and I got around 300 comments on there just for me to talk about the topic of how to manifest commitment. I was taking video suggestions there. In this video, I will be covering a few things. I will be talking about situations with friends with benefits situations. I will be talking about situations of no contact. I will be talking about situations where I'm either trying to manifest an ex back or someone that I don't know. Of course, I will be giving a general overview of this because I cannot cover everything in a generic video. I don't know your exact situation, but I will try to cover as much as I can. First thing that we need to understand is how our mind works. And I have definitely covered this in a few of my videos before, and I'm 100% sure I've covered this deeply in my self-concept course. So if you guys want to go for that, you can reach out to me on Instagram. There is a highlight called courses and where you can check self-concept course. So like I was saying, our mind connects things to different things and our mind makes associations with different things based on its own interpretations and its own experiences. So let's first cover the situation of, let's say I'm manifesting someone who is an ex or I am someone who has had a history of bad relationships. Essentially, three things will happen. First, if I am manifesting someone who I have had a relationship with which ended or I am someone who is manifesting a, a relationship after I have gone through a traumatic experience in the relationships before because my mind has now associated relationships to being something that has the tendency to hurt me. My mind will always try to protect me from getting into them because I don't feel safe getting into a commitment. Now my mind will do so either via manifestations in the physical world or through my own actions, which can be chasing, which can be self-sabotage, etc. And one good important thing to do to manifest commitment in this particular case should be allowing our mind to feel safe with the idea of being in a relationship and how we should allow our mind is by convincing it that if I am changing in my own life and if I am becoming a different person, then of course the relationships in my life would be different too because the choices that I would make would be different. This would be an answer to a lot of things. So let's move forward. But the part where we will have to convince ourselves would be different. I've said three things. So the second thing usually is Usually, we connect our own version of ourselves, who we were in the past relationship when the relationship was toxic, with us being in a relationship. So, for example, I know that that got a little bit confusing. So, let me explain. I was, let's say, I was character A and I was someone who got involved in a relationship and I was someone who was very timid. I people pleased. I was chasing the person. I was settling. I didn't have boundaries. And I was someone who didn't pursue my own life. I didn't have friends. I didn't have hobbies, like all these things. And now I'm character B. But when I was character A, I was in a relationship. And when I'm character B, who is happy now, who has a life now, I'm not in a relationship. Because my mind makes associations, it will start associating being character A with being in a relationship, which means the version of me who would be in a relationship would be someone who is timid, who is people pleasing, who doesn't have boundaries. And because I don't want to be that person, again, the same thing, manifestations and my own self-sabotaging actions, all of them will come into play. Third thing is, and this will specifically apply to if I'm manifesting an ex back, when a relationship with someone ends and of course, over a period of time, we have developed an image of that person where we have developed resentment against them, that person. We don't particularly feel safe being with that person in a way because we know that they have a tendency to hurt us. So this is what it means that the image that you have of that person is how you will perceive them. Because if I have an image of someone that they have the tendency to hurt me, of course, my mind, again, through the manifestations and through my physical sabotaging actions, won't allow me to get into a relationship with the person till I clear that. The answer on how to do that would be the same as the past answer I gave for the first point. Second thing, 
let's say i am someone who is in a no contact situation i will be making a separate video on no contact situations and how to end them but let's say i am someone who is in no contact situation probably what has also happened is that either i was the one who initiated contact and it didn't work out or we just ended contact and i didn't reach out and i have been waiting for them to reach out regardless of both of these things what has happened is over a period of time not being in contact with this person has become my safety zone which means it's it's just like an example of let's say i don't know how to swim and i have fears related to a swimming pool if i go away from the swimming pool i will start feeling better that doesn't mean that my trauma around that has gone it just means that i am separating myself from the trauma so when i will get in near that swimming pool again of course those traumas will come up just like that me being in a no contact situation i might be feeling like my self concept is going good but it's not that it is particularly going good this is me not me saying that you are not improving this is just me saying that the improvement might just be in other areas but might not be in that particular area and when i get involved in that particular area of course my mind still doesn't feel safe getting involved with someone and getting committed with them because being in a casual relationship with someone and not talking to that person i have developed a life outside of them and i fear that if i get in contact again i might lose all of this working on this fear is also very important coming to the next point usually what happens is that because we get involved with friends with benefits situations or we are friends with someone which means that we are in contact with this person it might be cordial but it's not exactly what we want it might be safer for some people to deal with this because it doesn't allow the other person the power to reject us and it doesn't give us the ability to be emotionally available in front of someone which means if i get emotionally available in front of someone of course what will happen is that now they have the power and now they have the capacity to hurt me which won't be there if i am not involved with them fully and because i don't feel safe with allowing someone that and i don't feel safe in the knowing that i might be able to handle myself again through my manifestations and through my self sabotaging actions i will remain in a situation that will not be the full commitment that i want now i know that this topic got a little bit deeper i just have one more connection to make and after that i will be talking about how to get better at it next point over a period of time what happens is that because we have started to feel safe in the version of me that i am right now so let's say i i have become someone who my life has changed right and i have certain things in my life that go a certain way maybe i wake up in a particular time i go to bed in a particular time i have xyz things that i do i meet my friends i talk to people i have a life that i ha- i st- have started to cherish and i have started to like and let's say now what happens is that i suddenly get into a commitment of course my life will change now i might be answerable to someone now i cannot be flirting with other people now i have to be loyal towards someone and sometimes even though we say that we want to be in a committed relationship with someone we have not prepared ourselves into thinking how our life would change in other areas just because now we have started to get committed to this person and because of that again through my manifestations and through my physical actions my mind will not allow me to get committed to someone till i feel ready for it let's come down to the solution to these problems there are three solutions that you should be applying when you want to be in a committed relationship and if you are facing trouble with it the first thing that you should be doing is you should be allowing yourself to feel safe being in a relationship which means that i have to understand that when i get into a relationship i will not be changing as a person of course there would be change in my life but i will not be changing as a person because i don't want to become someone who is again chasing someone who is again people pleasing who is again settling and when i give that security to myself that okay i won't become that person because i am changing every day because the things that changed me were dependent on my actions it was my own actions that have changed me and made me this person who i can cherish now and once i have became this person once i have become someone who i respect i will be the same person when i get involved in a relationship and once i allow my mind to be safe with this idea 
think about this as step one. Step two, think about it in a way that I also have to plan how my life would look like once I get involved in a committed relationship, which means my life would change. Definitely, I will have to make time for that person because now it's a commitment. I will have to learn how to have fights in a healthy way. I will have to learn how to communicate in a healthy way. I will have to be someone that can talk with a person and explain my point without bringing anger into it. I have to be someone who can respect that person, forgive that person and expect that forgiveness back. And my life, even in day to day times will change. So planning on how my life would change will allow me to be open to the idea of getting into a commitment because now it's not something unknown and we as humans have always feared the unknown. The third thing which will be very important is to understand that when I will get into that relationship, because I now know how to put better boundaries and because I now know how to stand up for myself, I won't let someone hurt me in the way that I allowed someone to hurt me before which means I will have stricter boundaries. I will be more disciplined with how I allow someone to treat me. I will be more open to being emotionally vulnerable. And I will not make the same mistakes that I did before. And some of those mistakes can be allowing someone to treat me badly. Once our mind gets open to the idea of being in a commitment that way, and it feels safe to be committed, of course, commitment starts to manifest and things start to change. Of course, in this time, affirmations can be very helpful. Like in the start, I was saying that affirmations can be very helpful. I just wanted to go deeper into this. Some particular affirmations that I use start with the words, it's safe to feel or it's safe to be. So one that I really give my clients is that it's safe to be in a happy and committed relationship. It's safe to be someone's girlfriend. It's safe to be the, the particular person's name and their boyfriend. Because once I put these affirmations in, it's in itself, I'm soothing my mind and I'm providing that mind the feeling of security that it is craving. Because that security can only be generated from within. It cannot be generated from outside. Because if it is generated from outside, it can go away. Because the mirror reflects back to us who we are, not what we want. I really, really hope that this video did not get too complicated. And I will be making several new videos like this. So if you have any particular video suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm also starting to cover specific topics. So the next video will probably be on no contact and how to manifest out of no contact situations. So stay tuned for it and I will see you guys in the next one. Click the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content. Comment down your video suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one.